Hello my dear friends, we're going to review the AutoLine Pro, an affordable Amazon smoke machine. Coming in at about $128, it is one of or the cheapest one on Amazon. So this one stood out to me basically because of its size. It looks like it's a very compact machine and when it showed up it was definitely pretty compact. So let's see how good she works for that affordable price tag. I really do appreciate the small compact size of this smoke machine because you're not going to be using this every single day so it's nice to store away a nice little small tool. So it does have a cheaper construction and according to its price tag that is perfectly okay. One of the things that really stood out to me on this smoke machine was this hook. So you really want a hook so you can put it on the top of the hood when you're pumping smoke into the car. So inside of our smoke machine package, it tells us we need some adapters. So these little cup caps are an absolute nightmare. They're always broken, missing, you can't find the right size. So basically since I bought the AutoLine smoke tester, I figured I would try the AutoLine bladder inflator. So hopefully this cures the nightmare of those little caps. There's a marble inside of the package. So you throw the marble inside and whenever the oil goes below the marble, you need to add more oil. So if you're not aware, smoke machines burn baby oil. So you gotta pay attention to the next step because it is very important if you've never used the smoke machine. We need to find an entrance and we need to block all the exits for the smoke so we can find our leak. So I'm chasing a P0171 on a Toyota and I've had some serious success with smoke machines chasing vacuum leaks. So this is typically the hardest part and it looks like AutoLine's bladder system is here to the rescue. So this is how you do it. You basically hook this up to the battery and turn it on to get this thing smoking hot, but you do need compressed air. So you wanna get a glove and hook it on the tip of here and it should fill the glove up. I think they use about 10 PSI and this thing has a pressure regulator on it. It's a non-adjustable pressure regulator. You just wanna make sure it's filling and not exploding. So it's been like five years since I've used a smoke machine and absolutely do not do this because I forgot how wretched burning baby oil smells. It took about a week for this smell to come out of my garage. So it's absolutely belching smoke out of the intake runner, the rubber hose thing right here. And I'm like, yep, I'm totally used to this. All the smoke machines I've ever used, it's really hard to block off the leaks because you're pumping 10 PSI into the car. So the bladder system right there, actually has an entry port so you can hook your smoke machine up right into there. So the most important step here guys is do not let this smoke come outside of the car because it's absolutely stinky and it only gets worse as the smoke dissipates. Okay so the general leak is either like lower intake manifold, valve cover, intake manifold or injector o-ring. So this is where it gets a little bit difficult the smoke machine is not absolutely perfect. It gets a little bit tricky here. So you have to actually pinpoint where the smoke is coming out because it's just belching out of everywhere. So I've pinpointed it to roughly the intake manifold, but it could also have a cracked intake manifold or just a bad gasket. Okay, so the, the vacuum leak was coming from underneath the lower intake manifold and we can see that the gasket is broken right there. And then unfortunately I found a bulging coolant line. I did discover this thing is incredibly stinky. So what we gotta do is heat up the coil before hooking up the air. So we're not filling up the whole garage with stinky burning baby oil. And we have the bladder in there. We're ready to retest this. Okay, so we've pumped a ton of smoke into that intake manifold. So now you wanna turn the coils off because you don't wanna keep making the smoke because it's super stinky. Okay, so we see how much smoke. Pump it back up. So now we're pressurizing the system again. So I discovered this to be actually one of the better tips is when all the smoke is inside of the intake manifold, turn off the burning coils and just pump air into the system. And basically you don't have to have belching, burning baby oil smoke coming out. So you don't need the check engine light to come on if you're chasing the P0171, you just have to look at the fuel trims. So we're at plus 13 in the long term, it used to be 20. So we're definitely heading in the right direction. So I went under the hood and I actually routed a couple of the hoses incorrectly. And that's probably why it was plus 13. 
After driving the car for like 10 minutes with the hoses in the right spot, we have a long-term fuel trim of 10. So 10 is okay on an older Toyota. You wanna see something more like five or zero, but 10 is totally acceptable and the check engine light is not gonna come back on. Considering how much this tool costs, it works pretty awesome. I mean, it's a little janky, but who cares about that? It gets the job done. When it comes to the little bladder thing I pumped up that's still installed in the car, that is literally the best accessory you could ever get for your smoke machine. So I used to fumble around, used to work at a shop with all the little cones to fit it on there. And that actually has a pass through. So you can connect the smoke machine straight to that bladder thingy instead of going into the brake booster or dis disconnecting another hose. 